Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is how to import MetaHumans into Unreal Engine 5. So this isn't going to be how to create one, this is just how to get one for free, and then how to import it into your games and into your projects. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. What we're going to do is inside of Unreal Engine 5, you can see up at the top, we have the Add Into Project. We're going to press this, and then we're going to hit Quixel Bridge. We're going to open this up and what you want to do is make sure that you are logged in. So at the top right here, make sure that you are signed in and I am here like so. After this, what we're going to do is simply just go to the MetaHumans tab we have here. Very simple, you can easily find it. Now if you did make a MetaHuman, you'll obviously find them under the My MetaHumans tab that you have here. So if you press My MetaHumans, you would find any that you have made. This is one which I made, it really didn't do much, it's just the default, but you will find them here. I'm going to go to the MetaHuman presets and just pick a random one which I want in my project. So let's just go with this one here, Malika. So once you've selected it, you can change the quality that you want, or for me apparently not, it's just highest quality, but if you do have other options, you would change it here. Then what you want to do is just press download. Now this blue button here where it says start MHC, what that is is start MetaHuman creator. So you can press this here to then actually modify it. You open up the creator so you can change anything which you do want to change. And then once you save that, it would go to the My MetaHumans tab here. But again, I'm not going over that in today's video. It's just how to import it into your project. So this is obviously going to be quite a big file. So it might take a little bit to download. So I'll get back to you once it is finished. Okay, so here we are. It is now downloaded. So what we can do is simply just press this blue add button here. And that is going to simply import it into the project we are currently in. So again, make sure you're in your project when you open Quixel Bridge to do this. So again, it's a big file, so we'll just wait for this to load, and then I'll get back to you. Once it's imported, you'll need to enable these missing plugins, i.e. Live Link, Live Link Control Rig, all the things you'll need for MetaHuman. So what you can do is simply just press Enable Missing, and then that will do that, fix that problem for you immediately. You don't need to do it manually, it will just do it for you. And then do the same with the missing project settings as well. Basically, Unreal will tell you anything that you're missing and they'll just fix it for you straight away. And then you may need to restart the editor because you've changed some settings, so I'll do that now as well. So here we are, we're back. I'm going to close the Quixel Bridge and then we should see we now have our MetaHuman in our project. So if we press Control Space to open our content browser, we should have a new folder now in our content folder called MetaHumans. We can open that up and then we should have Common and Malika or whatever your one was called open this up and we should now have a blueprint called BP and then the name of your MetaHuman and we'll drag this into our level. It may take a little bit of loading as it's going to obviously load the character for the first time and compile all the shaders but again I'll get back to you once this has loaded. So once it's in the level we can go up to it and see that we now have this MetaHuman inside of our projects and again obviously MetaHumans are amazing photorealistic super high quality characters that you can use in your game completely for free. So these are completely free to use and again they're absolutely amazing quality. You can see this is what we have here and we can open up the blueprint and see everything that we've got in here already. So obviously it's not a lot but you have the live link setup and also some LOD stuff in here as well and just a mass pose and everything you need. So again the LODs are already set up as well like I say. So I think that'll probably be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. Again, it's a very quick video. All we're doing is finding a MetaHuman that we want to use and then importing it into our project so that we can actually use it. Now, obviously I've not animated this, I've not created it, I've not done anything else, I've just imported it in. And the reason why I've done this is because a lot of people have kind of been asking me, how do I get access to the different MetaHumans that Unreal Engine have created and are providing for us? And this is how you do that. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.